All right, this is a degree wheel to determine when your ports open and close. It's the easiest putting on your shoes. These are Skechers, by the way. Okay, <clears throat> real simple. You could either put it on your magnet side, magneto side, minus minus your stator, or you can get you an Allen and put it on this side. It's, it, it's irrelevant. I suggest getting you a pointer that's bendable. Uh, it's real important to know. See, my TDC is over here. Some people make a mark on their cylinder, whatever. But it's important that you have your degree wheel set up properly. And you can just roughly eyeball it to where it's TDC and TDC. But here's here's where the issue lies. And don't get caught up in, in, in the details here. Watch the piston. There's a lot of stuff called dwell time at TDC where the piston's not moving and the wheel moves a lot. The bigger the wheel, the more accurate it'll be. So to ensure that you're at true TDC, see I could have it there and it wouldn't be at TDC, but it would look like it there. So see, this is what's called dwell time at TDC. That's when the piston's traveling up and the rod's there and it don't know which way to go. So real important to ensure that you're at true TDC, just eyeball it. Tighten up your nut when it's distance it's close to top. You got a bendable pointer to ensure that it's a TDC, and, I, and, and it's real simple. This is real close, real quick, just a quick reference guide. So I'm going to roll it up to where it hits the piston, right? I'm going to look at it. That's about. 28 and a half. So I'm going to roll it all the way down and back up. Right? Where am I at? I'm at 28 and a half. So that tells me my degree wheel is set straight, set upright. Is yours don't have to be at 28 and a half as long as both numbers equal the same thing when it hits the piston stop. I call this my piston stop. You can use anything, a chicken bone, whatever. That way, when it's at TDC, it's really TDC. The dead giveaway that your ports would be wrong is, say it would open at 75, and then you roll it back down and it closes at 72. That says your, your wheel would be off two and a half degrees. Real simple stuff. I hope you understand. And if you buy a four-stroke four degree wheel, after BDC, write just some numbers so it's easier. This is a true two-stroke degree wheel, and you see at BDC it's 10, 20. On a four-stroke, it's not. It's just got 360 degrees, so I suggest writing down these numbers. Hope this helps. I know it won't hurt. But if it's, if it's in between numbers, when it's a TDC, if it hits the piston stop, say at 20, and the other one's at the other one, it hits the piston stop, it's 22. Real simple. Bend this, and both of them open at 21. You want both numbers to be the same when it hits the piston stop. And mine happens to be 28 and a half. Yours might be something different, but as long as both numbers hit that stop at 28 and a half, or whatever your number is, you know your degree wheel is correct. Hope this helps. Like I said, that's to ensure your degree wheel is actually at TDC when is it is at TDC. Because look, dwell time. Your eyeball can't see that stuff. So, hence, stop your piston prior to getting to TDC. And make both numbers equal. Hope this helps.